Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing five life hacks with you guys. These are life hacks I've kind of just come up with over time after experiencing a couple situations where I kind of wish someone would have told me these life hacks. And some of them are basic, some of them you may not know, so let's get right into the video. Okay, so I have my mom's phone that I'm going to be uh, reading off the five life hacks. Okay, so the first life hack is kind of a basic one, but do not do anything you are not comfortable with. I know this is something our parents tell us on a day-to-day -day basis, like just be safe, you know, be okay. But sometimes when we're in situations and we're heading into a dangerous situation, we don't really realize what's happening until it's occurring or it's happened and we kind of just you know it just kind of messes with our minds and we regret things and it's just not a safe situation so in order to you know prevent anything bad from happening you really really just want to do stuff that you are okay with and if you are not just kind of peace out and leave the situation because it is always better to be in a safer situation and not you know anything wrong happening to you than to have something bad occur even if everybody else is doing it if you have that gut feeling go with that gut feeling i've started to really listen to my inner self and my gut when something wrong is happening and trust me you guys i can honestly say go with your gut if you're in a sticky situation because the outcome of that you're just going to be overall very very happy with it and the second life hack is if you don't feel comfortable, if you feel uncomfortable, leave. So say you're having lunch with a friend at Panera and one of their friends comes up and it's just an awkward situation and they go off to do something and they of course, um, you know, ask you if you wanna join and you just go and you end up being like, okay, this isn't, I'm not okay. Leave the scenario. So go somewhere that is very crowded do not go somewhere that's very secluded because trust me, it's just better to be more in public and with a lot of people. And the third life hack is don't be someone you're not. Now I know this sounds very, very basic and you know, ordinary, but be yourself, especially if you're having a fresh start or not. I know school is starting again, which is like gross, but be yourself because you will find people who are exactly like you who some people really like to live in kind of a world with danger and stuff but you may not be that person who wants to do something that others don't so don't be someone you're not because then you're going to get involved with people who are the complete opposite of you and you're going to end up just not having a great time wherever you are doing whatever you are and it's just it's not going to be a great situation and you might get up into, caught up into like bad situations and you just don't want that. You want to be completely 100% fine. So be yourself. Four, be aware and be alert 24-7. Now, I know when we're about with our friends, we're just focused on taking the perfect selfie with perfect lighting. But you also want to just be sure that you are okay. And, you know, if someone comes near you or something like that, just be 100% alert. But have fun. Don't be like really paranoid, but just make sure, you know, you're always constantly checking over your shoulder and making sure that you are okay. Tip number five and the last tip, never leave any of your belongings alone or unattended. Now, this may go without saying, you know, they always announce it in airports, like don't leave your baggage unattended or report any suspicious activity, you know. So you never want to leave, say your I don't know, in Starbucks and you get your drink and you're putting in your sugar and then you have to go get straw from over there where the barista is. Make sure that you have everything with you or a friend is watching it. You just always want to have an eye on your stuff because one, it would, suck if it, it would suck if it would be stolen and two, you just want to make sure, especially when it comes to like, say you leave your food unattended, someone can just drop something in there and you do not want that. I have seen this in so many movies and you know i've experienced this firsthand where you know something's just not right in school like say you're leaving something in front of your locker and you're going off to talk to one of your friends just make sure that everything you always have a close eye on something or better yet just right on you because it's just better 
and it's gonna be a lot safer and that's all you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope these hacks helped. I hope you guys really stay safe um, and just use these tips, share this with all your friends because the number one thing is that you are okay and you are always safe. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!